Hi, today I'm gonna to show you how to cook on a boat. See, I used to live on this boat for an entire year, actually. It was one of the best years of my life, so let's get started. Yes, there's a kitchen on here, but on a boat, it's called a galley. There's a lot of new vocabulary on a boat like this. It's called a sea rail, as you just saw. It keeps your tomatoes and your onions and your limes from falling off the table when you're out there at sea. You know, it's the galley, not the kitchen, the starboard and the port side, not the right and the left, the stern and the bow, not the back and the front. It's a cabin, not a bedroom, and it is the head, not the bathroom. But all of that etymology, I am going to save for another day. Or you know, like, another video. Today, we're gonna make tacos. And because we're on a boat, it's gonna be salmon tacos. Wash your hands. I'm gonna do it in slow motion, just to see how cinematic it can be. Hygiene. I'm a simple dude, just salt and pepper for me, you know? Okay, so while the salmon and the salt are getting to know each other, let me introduce you to another boat on the wharf. See, Seattle is one of the best places to get your fish. Um, a lot of it is still fished by historic wooden boats. Like Tordenschult here, built in 1911 and fished for over a hundred years. This is a true Pacific Northwest fishing boat, though the fishermen on this specific ship weren't focused on salmon. They primarily did what was called longlining for a fish called the halibut. But the main point you know, Seattle, a long tradition of seafood, great seafood because of it. If you like seafood, if you want seafood, come here to Seattle. Anyway, back to the salmon. This is Arthur's Range, that's, that's the name of this boat by the way, and sorry to disappoint you, but I am not going to use this today because it would be kind of just a little bit of an overkill for a few tacos. See, Arthur is 120 feet long, she's diesel powered, including her oven, and here, let me just show you her engine. See, Arthur's engine is so big that it actually takes up two stories. Welcome to the engine room. This is the Arthur's engine. Uh, a few fun facts, it's literally two stories tall. It's bigger than my car because it literally weighs as much as 10 buses. And like at normal speed, it burns over 40 gallons of diesel every single hour. Now to put that into perspective, my car, a full tank is 12 gallons of gas and it'll drive about 10 hours depending on the speed. So like hopefully you can now see why it might be a little bit of an overkill to try to fire some of this stuff up to use the range upstairs, especially when I don't know what any of these like knobs and levers and pulleys and bells and whistles do, just to cook a few tacos. And I mean, look at these. These are, believe it or not, these are the small wrenches. And these, what you see on either side of me, they're the fuel tanks. And when they're full, they hold over 30,000 gallons of fuel. So, I'm just gonna cook with a hot plate today. Cast iron pan though, absolutely essential for any cooking on or off a boat, okay? How I like to cook my salmon is to start with the skin side and then wait for it to get like halfway done, flip it just once onto the non-skin side, it'll be completely done and then flip it right back onto the skin side just to get that extra crispiness right on the skin. Ooh! Not to make the salsa, choppity chop chop chop, we got some cilantro, red onions, tomato, jalapenos, and serrano for that extra heat, and then just some limes, can't forget that part. Mix it all up together and you got yourself some salsa. If you're not making fresh tortillas like me because I'm on a boat today, here's the trick. To make them super soft, you just take them, you know, quickly run them all underwater. Shake off that excess water, like really shake it off. And now, put them on a plate. You're gonna put a plate over that and you're gonna microwave this for like a minute or so, depending on how many you have and how strong your microwave is. And now you have all nice, warm, steamy, and 
toasty corn tortillas. Now we just gotta plate all this and we are ready to eat. See, the trick is you always use two corn tortillas. And there we go. Delicious done salmon tacos. All we're missing now is a glass of afternoon sangria and we just need one more thing before we're ready to eat. And it's this view.